I'm in the pumpkin patch. This is where we throw the last year's pumpkins that were thrown around here somewhere. So these just grow on their own. I don't see any pumpkins though. Nope. Oh, there's one. Bright green. But there's one there anyway. Oh, I see a second one. Right in there, a dark green one. There might be a third or fourth one in there, I hope. Well, here's an old gem. This, I think, is a mid-40s. I have the year written down in the file on this. I downloaded a owner's manual, and I think I got it narrowed down to the actual month it was built, but uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's uh, It's got some problems. The engine doesn't have any compression, so I, my plan is to do a valve job or do a uh, ring rebuild rings pistons I don't think it needs too much it runs but it just doesn't have any power and it hasn't run in a while because the, the Sun got out the filter here and it's just completely you know cheap Chinese plastic so I put a new carb on it it's all there so I was at a local fair a couple of days ago, and uh, I went and I went and looked at the collection of antique tractors they had. They're a really nice collection of. Uh, they had a good selection of John Deere. They had uh, they had some uh, Massey Harris, I think, and they had a bunch of cock shuts. And that's so. I, I'll I'll show you a few uh, clips of that. And there was a little one long power plant. Those things became obsolete when this this device was invented or the actually the uh, belt driven the big pulleys that you saw up on the side of the tractors they drove a belt but this kind of nailed the put the nails in the coffin on the little one lung engines the little power plants and the three-point hitch so this is a first generation three-point hitch and, and Ford took this off of a Ferguson it says on here somewhere Ferguson system so he kind of ripped off the three-point hitch from Ferguson and then he uh, I think he got dragged through the courts and he had to put that emblem on the grill of all of his tractors so to acknowledge and they probably made a financial agreement too but uh, and this was the development of the modern tractor that we know today with the three-point hitch engine at the front uh, seat at the back Before that, you had all kinds of systems. And the three-point hitch is still most popular type of attachment hitch. But we're, we're changing again, and we're going to uh, different types of setups, like uh, driverless tractors. And so things are always changing. You just think that things are never going to change. Well, think again, because they are. Uh, so I'll put that... Uh, I'll put a few clips of that... Uh, that stuff I saw at the fair. It was a really neat uh, 44 special. Two row corn harvester. Enjoy. Nancy Harris gas 44 special. It's 
Talk about dangerous. Your foot is like six inches from the chain there when you're hitting the brakes. <laughs> All original this thing. It's never been painted. Shields are for your protection. Keep them in place. Yeah, yeah, right. What shields? Again, the chain's like four inches from your foot. There's the clutch right there. So that's what it would have looked like brand new. But Ford Jubilee, 1960, 1957. I think that's a Jubilee. It's just an 800, maybe. Nineteen forty-two. Nineteen fifty-one. Nope, fifty-six, sorry. Nineteen fifty. There's a big one. It's a thirty. It's getting bigger here. There's a diesel. 770. 1963. 560. It's probably diesel as well. Let's see if it is. 1961. Yes, that's diesel. It's made in Canada. There's a 50. 1956. 35. What year? 1960, 1957. Yeah, of course. Nice shape. Gas, though. Not a big fan of gas tractors of that era. They're still great machines, but... 35L towing a single roll plow, it looks like. Oh, it's two roll. Two four roll. And we can't forget the, uh, the old cockshut manure spreader. And here's a 1956 40 Deluxe. And the little 20 over here. 1958. But my favorite, you know, when I see something original like that, that good a shape, that's been stored indoors for 50 years. What is it here? It's a uh, 1958 165. Oh, one of 165 made. You know, I went and lost all of the John Deere footage I had, the video from last weekend. I don't know what happened, but it's gone. But here are a whole bunch of Alice Chalmers. Beautiful tractors. Look at these things. Huge. These have to be 120, 130 horsepower tractors. There's another one. 220. This is a 210. There's a 200. And at the end is a D21. So looks like it's had a good hard life it's still still a nice tractor really nice doesn't need much to fix that up doesn't see what year they are got to be early 60s or so so that three point hitch on this it looks like it could be a category 3 I have a 100 horsepower case four-wheel drive tractor with a cab and everything and this is much beefier three-point hitch than what I have. This has got to be 120, 130 horsepower. Beautiful. And it looks like they're still used to work today, so pretty amazing. Good investment to buy a tractor like this. There's a bolt-on track system. And there's a monster. I think it's got to be three, four hundred horsepower, maybe more. I don't even, can't even fit it in the screen. So we're in the uh, McCormick section here, but a little further over is my kind of tractor. So let's go see that. There's another monster. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. It's like a bloody spaceship. Cabin there. Point four three five. I have no idea what that is. How many horsepower? 
it. It's freaking gigantic, too. Over here, we got some John Deere. Now we're speaking my language. MX 5800, but uh, it's a great landscaper's tractor, but you can't use that on snowmobile in, in uh, snow country here in Canada. Minus 30, how many hours can you sit on that? Beautiful tractor, though. And right beside it, an M7 151. That's a 151 horsepower tractor. This is the biggest horsepower tractor Kubota make right now, I believe. And they've only made this for a short time, maybe a year or two. Beautiful machine. The tires have to be six feet high. So, if I were to upgrade from my case, this would be the one. That's a beefy three-point hitch. Look at the size of those cylinders. It's got to be near four inches there. Two of them. So sorry all you John Deere fans. The only antique John Deere they have here, there's not a big selection of antique tractors, is behind me and we'll go look at that next. But uh, there's the M M7151. I love it. But one more look at the uh, MX5800. I just had a drive, I like that. And, uh, open station though. Just a really, really nice size tractor, all around use. You still got 58 horsepower PTO, and you've got, uh, you can drop down this roll bar, and you can fit underneath stuff. Having a cab is not that bad. You just can't, you cannot use this on snowmobile in the winter. Maybe load and salt, because you've done that in 15 minutes, but uh, nice machine. So as promised, there's the only John Deere antique tractor I can find here, but uh, really nice shape. John Deere quality farm equipment. Really nice shape, because this is still used. Probably just a few but it's still at the gauges. I like it. Okay, well, let's go look at a tow truck that you've never seen a tow truck like this. So there's a tow truck. Holy. Camping in that. You won't see any Toyota Corollas getting towed by this. Just to use the gallon of armor all. Well, if I see anything uh, interesting, any more stuff, I'll show you. That little fella. That's probably about a 30 40 horsepower. And then you look at this thing. Monster. And here's the back end of the. Uh, I don't remember what that is. It's just gigantic. It's got to have a thousand pounds of weight. Look at that. And on the other side as well. It wasn't heavy enough. Thanks for watching. That building, let's go in and have a look at the roof trusses. Looking at those old tractors, kind of inspiring me of trying to motivate myself to get going at this. Uh, this is only about a 24 horsepower, 28 maybe, factory rated horsepower, but lots of torque. It has so much torque the wheels out in the front would just come right off the ground if you 
if you pulled something heavy enough. Um, I don't think it needs very much. It needs a good cleaning up, some TLC. I think it kind of needs a new steering wheel. I think you can get these steering wheels. And um, I don't want it to look too nice. I don't want to put it in a glass case, but uh, I'd like to have it running and get the, try and get the 24 or 28 horsepower out of it again. And uh, the octagon, it's not an octagon, it's a sexagon building, six-sided. I counted the trusses. It was about 32 trusses on there. That uh, That's the way they used to build buildings, you know, way back. You don't see buildings like that anymore. That was kind of cool. And uh, I'm trying to insulate my shop so I can put this in there over the winter and work on it. So thanks for watching.